you guys. Welcome to my station. Today's topic I will discuss is how to assess your intuition. Today's topic means a lot to me and the reason why is because I do have problems in that area. I have gotten better but I want to become even better so that way I can make better decisions with my life. Recently I done some research and I gathered the majority of my information from two particular websites. So in my description, I will also have the link. Have you ever had an odd feeling when you are around someone or maybe even a thought that appeared suddenly? The thought sometimes will tell you, don't do it, to be careful, watch that person. Have you ever done something out of the ordinary and you have a gut feeling that it's going to be life-changing for you. Well, recently I have experienced that. And it's something about that particular feeling you do pay attention to. I beg you to learn to pay attention to those feelings. Don't ignore them. When you ignore those feelings, it can cause harm to your life. So learn to pay attention to those feelings they can become life-changing for you. Your intuition is a gift from God. And when you learn how to develop and strengthen it, your intuition can help you stay clear of disasters, decisions, and relationships. In this video, I will give you three steps to take to learn how to train yourself to listen to your inner voice. Intuition definition is the ability to understand something immediately without the need for conscious reasoning. Your intuition is shaped by your past experience and your existing knowledge which you gain from them. Your intuition connects your body, mind, and your spirit. Number one, pay attention. Your intuition is a still quiet voice. It is so easy not to pay it any attention, especially if your mind is distracted. Two years ago, I started ever so often visiting a well-known church in my area, and I noticed that every time I would go there to visit, something would always tell me that someone was watching me and I would feel so uncomfortable. It was to the fact that whenever it was offering time, I didn't want to leave my seat. And something also told me to, to where whenever I go to visit that church, don't talk to anyone. Don't try to develop friends there. Time service is over with, go straight to your car. I won't go into details, but I do want you to know this, within a month from when uh, that voice would start telling me that, and every time I would go there, it would tell me that, and a voice would, it would become stronger. And uh, I noticed that within a month time, I totally understood that God was trying to warn me. In the Bible, it says that how that God's sheep knows his voice, and a stranger they will not follow. But if you are distracted, you are not going to recognize his voice. Every so often, you should take out time to meditate. Read your Bible, even pray, wait, and listen. David sat before the Lord enjoying his presence and quieting his spirit. Our spirit hear God when we quiet our minds enough to meditate on his word as we seek God's guidance and pray for his direction. He said to trust that we have the wisdom that we ask for. In the Bible, in Proverbs, it talks about how that we should seek wisdom as our chief ambition and 
When we do, our intuition can be a safeguard against tragic mistakes. Proverbs, the fourth chapter, in the seventh verse, it talks about getting wisdom and insight. The key to mastering your intuition is listen to it. Number three, trust your gut feeling. Listen to it. The key to mastering your intuition is listen to it. Some people are naturally more in tune with the inner voice than others are. But we can all develop this gift to some extent by just simply turning it on. Recently, I was looking at a video by Oprah Winfrey and she was talking about learning to listen to your inner voice. Sometime we all should take a moment to listen to our intuition, to listen to our heart. There have been times in my life to where I did listen to my intuition. And there were other times to where I didn't. And thank God for his grace and mercy to where that uh, it could have been something devastating that could have happened to me. So I want to encourage you and not just you myself as well to start listening more to your intuition, to pay attention to the first thought that comes to your mind when you're around someone or sometimes to where you can just be around someone and it may say something and it just catches your attention and then later on you keep thinking about it and most of the time it's for a reason. I do want to share this as well. There have been times in my life to where God will be trying to show me something and I did not want to believe it. So I chose to ignore it, hoping that it would go away. But as time went by, he would try to talk to me more and more about it. And I still wouldn't listen. So in the long run, what happened is, once it happened to me, what he was trying to warn me about, I was devastated. And it just came down on me so hard. And it could have been a lot more easier for me to bear if I just would have paid attention and listened. I hope you enjoyed this video. And also just want to say again, uh, some of my information I got from two different websites. And also I'm going to have the link of those websites in my description at the bottom. If you haven't subscribed to my station, please do so. And also don't forget to click on the notification bell. That way, whenever I upload a video, you will know. And also click on the thumbs up and please leave me a comment at the bottom. I want to know how you are with listening to your inner voice, your intuition. Have there ever been a situation in your life to where you listened or have they ever been a situation in your life to where you didn't listen and what was the consequences i would love to know may god bless you have a nice day